which one? Um, that's the fruit. That's the fruit. Uh, yes, got it. Thank you. That's yours. Yes. Here. Oh, I was gonna get napkins. <laughs> huh. Oh, I know. That was fast. Hi, can I have a uh, medium uh, sweet tea with lemon? Yes, iced tea sweetened with lemon. And that's it. Thank you. I'm not getting my coffee today. I'm gonna get tea instead. Thank you. I am going to meet my mom and my sister. We're gonna go um, order my sister's dress. I think she decided on what she wanted, hopefully. Um, so I'm about to meet up with them and then I just have some work to do today, just as far as like videos and stuff. I do want to do some more wedding related videos. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about that. So I'm probably going to film a video on my um, wedding shoes that I got in the mail. And I want to film this to actually get your guys' suggestions on what you think. It's going to be a little hard because you guys obviously don't know what my dress looks like. But I want to know your opinions and like what are your favorite shoes that out of the three that I got. And also want to show you guys... Um, the bridesmaids shoes that I'm going to be giving to my bridesmaids which if you saw from the last vlog I did get um, Badgley, Badgley Mishkas I think that's how you say it I keep saying it like different ways I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name but they are absolutely amazing shoes and so beautiful the team that works with the brand decided to gift me the shoes and also gift me shoes for my bridesmaids which is so incredible like I am it's like a dream like I was literally looking at these shoes and it's almost like I manifested getting these shoes which is so weird because like which you can manifest money and like things and positive things to happen in your life but it was like in a different way because I was literally about to order these shoes on Nordstrom and then I got an email from this company and I don't know how they found me I don't know I don't, I don't know, like I just, I like manifested it, which is so crazy. I got the shoes that I want, I'm still in between the three. I have to try them on with my, with my dress, and actually when I go to the place today, I'm gonna ask if my dress is in, I'm not, probably not gonna try it on today, but I'm going to see if it's in because it's been about six months. I do think that they said six to eight months, but they could always come in earlier, and then I know for bridesmaids it takes about three to four months. So that's why I want my bridesmaids to get their dresses as soon as possible. We are going to go dress shopping again this Sunday, and then we're going again next Sunday with the rest of my bridesmaids. I just tried to coordinate with them on what days worked best for them. I do want to see if they do have my dress in today, which would be so, oh, just to like see it again. Um, but yeah, I want to do a video on just showing you guys all the shoes like up close and personal because I know the vlog that when I filmed them, like it was just such bad quality. By the way, the past few vlogs, all the fake vacation vlogs were filmed on my G7X. Now I know that I was filming a lot of my vlogs on my other camera, which is the new one that I got in the M50, but I was vlogging with the G7X, which is what I'm using right now, because it was just easy for me to bring around, especially to the beach. Like I've had this camera for years and years and I don't really mind. I mean, it sounds, sounds bad but I don't mind like if it drops or something you know like I have a backup camera but I didn't want to bring like my brand new camera and it's also hard for my big camera to be in the um the car like it's just very bulky and it's just bigger but um that vlog that I was filming like the shoes on it just kept going out of focus and when I was looking back at the footage I was like oh my god it's literally out of focus the entire time so it kind of annoyed me um, I've always had issues with the G7X like getting out of focus and just being blurry and it's it's annoying when you're trying to like capture moments That you can't record again, you know what I mean? And it's just 
not, uh, it doesn't autofocus very well. So yeah, I'm really excited to go today and for Mackenzie to finally get her dress. The reason why I'm kind of wanting Mackenzie to get hers first was, is because one, she's my maid of honor, so I need to know what she's wearing first. And two, uh, she's going to school this weekend. She's officially going off to college. She's been uh, very emotional, very, you know, a very excited but also very emotional. It's a big step and um, I think that she is looking forward to it, but she's also a little scared. So I've been trying to spend some time with her. Yeah, so yesterday we went on a long bike ride. Now I got this bike. I'm so talkative today. I think it's just because I'm in a good mood, but <laughs> um, so I got this bike and I don't know if you guys saw from like my previous vlogs, but I actually don't like it at all and I'm thinking about selling it and getting something else. Yesterday we decided to be active and um, when we rode our bikes down the shore I really loved it and it was just so relaxing and fun and it's also a great exercise. So me and Anthony decided to take our bikes out and go on a bike ride and we invited Mackenzie. We rode from my parents to the farm and it was really fun. Um, it was definitely like a few miles or so, but I was struggling. That bike that I have is so heavy and for some reason I just couldn't get the gears down. Like I do, it is a seven speed, but I could not figure out the gears and how to make it easier for me to ride. For some reason it was just, honestly so hard and also I, super hot it was like 90 degrees like I don't know why we decided to do that in this heat but I just wanted to get some exercise and you know enjoy the weather so we invited Mackenzie along Mackenzie has a beach cruiser as well but hers does not have gears and we switched like halfway through because I was just struggling and then she was struggling too so I was like okay it's not just me and I was fine on her bike so, I don't know, I think I might get a different bike. I think I might end up getting like more of like a mountain bike kind of thing because if we do end up going like on trails and like go to the park, I'm gonna need something that can be like, you know, off terrain or whatever. That was fun yesterday. We kind of just had a relaxing day. Anthony was off work. I didn't vlog or anything. We just wanted to spend some time together. So I will stop all the uh, chit chat and rambling and I will um, vlog when I get to the bridal shop. Hi guys, I'm home. I am making leftover chili for myself. I didn't vlog earlier. My sister got her dress. She ordered it. We're all good to go with that. Um, me and my mom grabbed lunch after. We went to a few stores and then I came home, did some pictures for the gram, and now I'm eating dinner. Well, almost dinner. We're gonna have dinner late tonight because Anthony gets home late, but I'm having like a pre-dinner a little snack. <laughs> so I'm just heating up some chili and watching KK and Baby J. They had their baby today. I'm so excited to see their baby and find out the gender. Um, but yeah, I'm watching the vlog they just posted. So yeah, so happy for them. Oh my gosh. It was really, it was really a big surprise because the baby came two weeks early. So it's so crazy. Like when I talk to other people about YouTube and like how they just don't understand, like a lot of people don't understand YouTube life. And this is what I was talking about in the other vlog when I said that you guys are very invested in our life. When I was talking about the whole Bella situation, because I understand because I'm a viewer as well. So I'm invested in other people's lives. You know, I get excited when they post and when they have news to share and like big changes in their life. Like I get excited for them and I, feel like a part of their, I don't know, like, I almost feel like I'm a part of their life. And like when people meet me in person, especially, they're always like, oh my God, I feel like I know so much about you. I feel like I know you as a person, like I'm your friend. And I love that. And it's not weird. Like I totally get it because I'm a viewer myself. So I understand, but yeah, I just, I love this community. And that's why I feel like I will never leave because I just love, I love YouTube. It is literally a second family to me. And I love you guys. So I'm gonna eat this chili, catch up on some vlogs. I gotta go through some work emails. I gotta go through some of my website emails. Um, it is so hot. Is anyone ready for fall and winter? Because I am. I shouldn't say winter, because then that's, that's a little close. Like my our wedding's in six months and I can wait for winter, but fall, I'm so ready. I'm tired of this heat, I'm tired of sweating, my my face especially, like my face is never oily and I feel like it's so oily. 
and it just changes in the summer. But I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm, I'm ready to get out my sweaters and my boots, and I am so ready for fall. <sighs> I cannot wait. Daddy's home. Hi. <laughs> they do this every day. Oh, you just whipped your tail in my face. Ow. You want to you yeah, send him, him a You gave him pepperoni and now that's what he wants. He wants more food. Um, I got a few things, yes. some um, packages in the mail. I just want to show you a few things. Makeup Forever sent me, and I'm actually really excited about this because I am looking for a new foundation. I've been using the same foundation so much. And I feel like I just need a change, especially for the fall time. This is uh, the new matte velvet skin. <clears throat> new generation matte. I've actually tried their matte, their matte velvet uh, foundation before, and it doesn't look anything like this. So, oh wow, look, these are all the shades. It's pretty awesome. So I guess this is maybe the new No Cakey Matte Finish, 24 hour wear, 24 hour wear, that, wow, that's, that's intense. Oh, it even comes with a brush. Um, breathable, oil-free, it comes with a primer as well. Well, it doesn't come with a primer, but they sent me a primer. The step one base skin equalizer, and then they did send me three shades, which I hope will match me. Or if they don't match me now, then they'll probably match me when I'm a little bit paler. But they sent me, I think they have three tones. Um, I really love the Makeup Forever. Um, can you get this out? I really do like the Makeup Forever um, concealers, the squeeze tube ones. I use them a lot on clients. There we go. So I got three shades. Y355, R370, and then Y365. I hope that some of these will match, and if they don't, I'll have to mix them, but comes with a really nice brush. So excited for you to try our new matte velvet skin. Comes in 40 shades, so we picked three that we would think would match you best. This formula is so bomb, it makes your skin look poreless and shine free, but never dull. Can't wait to see you play with it. I'll have to try that out. Okay, Mac sent a package. It's probably Jamie's lipstick. Oh, I wish. I want to try Jamie's lipstick. See, he knows everything. What? They're our <laughs> Scottish friends. How did you know that Jamie came out with her lipstick? Because I pay attention. Because you saw it on her thing? Mm -hmm. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know. I don't think this is a collection. This is not real foundation, I don't think. This is probably like a mixer. Just look at it, it's like gold. Okay, so I think it's like a mixer. We also have Dazzle, Dazzle Shadow Liquid. These would be great for brides, and this color is calling my name. Every day, you know that everyone's gonna see you eating your cereal in the background? I'll take a picture. Yes. Oh my god, this looks so pretty. So if I can show you guys. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. He's a stinky boy. Let's see. He really wow. likes the cereal. Babe, look, that might be like a nice shadow to wear for the wedding day. It's white. No, it's like, I mean like on my lid. That might be so pretty. That's so pretty, don't you think? I thought you said you liked. Oh. I thought you said you liked the way my makeup looked in that one picture on Instagram. Yeah. You said you really liked it. 
Well, they're empty. So like shimmer on the lid and like and like sparkly or what do you think? Yep, sure. Okay, this is all I think shimmery stuff because it's all. Come on, babe. I see illusion, glossy, shimmer, this, shimmer, that. This is silver dust. This is a iridescent powder. So I wonder if it's like a highlighter, but in like powder form. There are glossy liquid lip colors. Oh, I need more glosses. I've been loving the lip glasses. Oh, but these are bright. A lot of these things, I have so much makeup guys for giveaways. Uh oh, that lipstick literally just broke on me. Mac, what is going on with your, with your product? Do you see that? It literally just broke. The doe fill applicator is now stuck inside. Oh my God. Okay, so all of these are like shimmery. God, all of these are like shimmery shades. So I think they're all liquid lip color, glossy liquid lip color. These are all, I guess, like shimmery. And then, oh, there's another sparkle one. Dazzle, dazzle shadow liquid. And then here's another liquid lipstick or lip color. I keep saying lipstick. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at this one. Wait, I need to get like a good shot of this. Come on, focus. I hate this camera so much, but my other one isn't charged. Why does this camera suck? This camera sucks so much. There we go. Oh my God, look at this. Look at that. Wow, that is so pretty. Wait, this might be, this might be my shadow for my wedding day. Wow. This one's a little more sheer than the other one, but it's still really pretty. Wow, I love these. I'm gonna keep these for myself. And they would be great for clients because a lot of girls, especially for weddings, sometimes they like to do a matte neutral look, but sometimes they like to switch it up and do like, a shimmery lid or a little pop of sparkle or something. So these are great for that. They also have a silver and like a pinky rose gold color. A lot of the makeup that I get, I do put aside for giveaways. I have bins of giveaway stuff that I need to go through and a lot, a lot of my makeup as well, I do need to go through for just getting rid of things that are expired because I do have a lot of makeup from over the years that I have not used or just things like that. Okay, so a lot of these are very bright colors, which again will be great for giveaways and a lot of like collectors, um, people who collect makeup. Oh, this is pretty. Sometimes when I get packages, it gets me, you know, excited and motivated to do like makeup videos. And I know that I've been slacking a lot on that. Um, it's been kind of hard in the beauty community um just because i feel like everything is so different now like i feel like a lot of the trends nowadays and maybe i'm wrong but i feel like a lot of the trends nowadays are like you know doing extravagant things like my makeup on a plane or doing my makeup here or there and i'm not bashing anyone who does that like i i think it, i watch them and i think it's awesome but i just I don't know. I'm not really into all the extravagant stuff. You know, like I don't feel like I experiment with makeup the way that I used to. And maybe that's my fault. Maybe I've just kind of lost a little bit of the passion, but I still love makeup. I mean, I still love doing weddings. I love doing makeup on people. I enjoy it so much. I don't take that much time as much anymore to film different looks. Um, I was so passionate about it in the beginning and I think it was very new to the community. And you know, it's changed and it's hard to stand out, but I hope that people watch me and enjoy my videos for my personality and who I am as a person and they enjoy watching me for me. A lot of my 
OG subscribers are subscribers of mine that have been watching me from like my old YouTube days where I would just do makeup tutorials and just do all makeup stuff. But you know, that was, I've been doing YouTube for almost 10 years now, pretty much a decade. And you grow, you grow and you evolve. And I've talked about this so much, but I definitely want to get back to doing makeup videos. I want to get back to doing reviews. I want to get back to doing things like that. And I know I've done like get ready's with me and stuff and I've showed you guys my everyday makeup. And I do plan on doing a video sharing maybe a bridal makeup look and maybe I'll do like two different ones because I do want to test it out. I do want to see what I what I like on myself because I might end up doing my own makeup. I'm still deciding. But I do want to try. I want to do something a little bit more like glam and sparkle. Um, maybe a little bit more dramatic and then I want to do something a little bit more softer and maybe more matte and Natural so maybe I'll do two separate ones if you guys will enjoy that, but I don't know. I'm kind of just over The whole like, you know trying different makeup looks But who knows maybe I'll get more Inspired once fall and winter comes around because I love fall makeup. I love the dark lips. I love all of that um, summertime, I feel like I barely wear any makeup. I do the same thing and I just like throw some makeup on my face, you know, glowy face, lashes, nude lip, I'm good to go. Um, but it does get me excited and I know I've gotten a lot of people asking about bridal makeup, so it does get me really excited. Maybe I'll use one of these because these are so beautiful. Like I, I love that. And it dried down really nice too. Like it's completely dry now. Kind of reminds me of the steel one ones, but who knows? Hi guys. I don't know if I showed you guys our save the date, but I guess I will show you. It does have our um, date just on changed, it, which now it's like really blue. I don't know what just happened, but I had to change out the battery. Um, I figured I would show you guys our save the date, if you even care. Because I don't even know if I showed it, but I did show a lot of pictures um, on like Instagram and stuff. But we do have, this is what our save the date looks like. It has... All of our pictures on it. It's so nice. It's so cute. Some of our favorites. I hate this camera how it doesn't focus, but we got some of our favorites. <laughs> what is up, you guys? It is the next day. I am currently doing a bunch of wedding things. I feel like I have so much going on and so much to juggle and I'm super busy after getting back from vacation. Um, this next month is going to be crazy. I have two trials, four weddings, our tasting for our, wet, for our wedding, um, the Darius Rucker concert. It's going to be a crazy month and so busy, but I'm just trying to get as much as I can done ahead of time for our wedding because it's going to get really busy with me doing other weddings and you know I just have a lot going on with like YouTube work and stuff with brands and also just um like freelance my stuff that I do on the side fitting clients in here and there for their hair and makeup like friends and family and stuff um so I am going through this huge packet and it's basically just us picking out I'm gonna kind of because I want to do this with Anthony, but um, we've had this packet for a while now and we need to just kind of lock things down because we are less than six months away. So I just want to kind of like go through and see what I like as far as wedding vows um, and some of the like blessings and prayers, things like that, the ceremony part of it. Um, so I'm just going to go through and see what... I like and then we're gonna review it tonight. Anthony's been working a lot since he got back, so um, We also want to include Bella in part of the ceremony so they do have options for children to be part of it, so we want to um, Figure that out as well so we just need to go through and pick all of our readings and prayers vows everything and this is literally like a 50 page packet, so I'm gonna spend some time doing this um, I need to edit a vlog and I also need to confirm a few things with some brides coming up like timeline and things like that. I have a wedding next week, um, next weekend and then the following weekend. So I am 
super, super busy. I don't know why, but September has been a crazy month for weddings. I've gotten so many requests for like the same days, which is crazy. So yeah, I've been really booked up and that is why I've had to make contracts for my brides. I'm actually talking to one of my friends right now um, about assisting me for a wedding that we're doing Labor Day weekend. This is a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't see that I do. Um, and that's why I wanted to share it with you because I know that a lot of people just think like, oh, you just you do YouTube, but I have like a whole other business on the side that I do and it gets very busy. Um, and wedding season isn't necessarily wedding season anymore because it's really all year round. I have weddings up until November of this year and then I stopped because it just became too close to my wedding and then next year I have a lot of weddings booked as well. I have weddings booked I think until next fall um, and then I'm going to be stopping after next year just because I'm hoping that we'll be able to start a family then. Um, we actually do I think want to try you know after we get married but I don't know when we will conceive so I just want to you know make sure that I'm not booking too far ahead. I know a lot of people have reached out about 2020 weddings but honestly I really can't book, book that far in advance because I don't know where we'll be I don't even know where I'll be next year, let alone two years from now. So um, I don't want to book out too far, but I will be picking up with weddings, I'm sure, again, once like we have a baby and stuff. But, you know, I am looking forward to the next stages that we take in our life and things like that. So I will be taking a little bit of a break, but I'm sure I'll be picking it back up once, you know, once we start a family and stuff. Actually, tomorrow we are going dress shopping again for two more of my bridesmaids, which is my sister-in-law and my cousin. So we're gonna go out shopping. And then again, next weekend, the day after I, I do a wedding, we're going again with two of my other bridesmaids. So lots and lots of shopping we're doing for that. I checked with the bridal shop when I went and I didn't vlog anything there. When my sister got her dress, you guys, I guess we'll see which one she picked. She went with the Haley Page one and I love it. I think it's gonna be so beautiful. I asked when we were there if my dress came in because usually they will let you know, but sometimes they didn't. Like my cousin already got her dress for her wedding next year. Hers already came in and it was really quick. So I just figured might as well ask. Um, they said that my dress should be coming in like mid-September. It's supposed to come in next month. So I am so excited. I hope I can try it on again. And like, maybe I'll get my reaction again to trying it on. Of course, I'm not gonna show you guys until the wedding day. I know I got a lot of questions about that. Like, are you gonna show your dress before the day? I definitely won't just because I don't want anyone to be sending that to Anthony. I don't want him to like come across it in a vlog or like people send pictures. Like, I don't, I don't want that um, because we aren't doing a first look at all. So I definitely want him to be surprised the day of. I will not be sharing what my dress looks like, but Maybe when I try it on again, maybe I'll do like a black screen and you guys will just hear my reaction or like, I don't know, but we'll see, we'll see. So that's really exciting. I can't wait for it to come in. I'm not gonna do my dress fitting until like a month or two before, just because obviously you don't want any body changes before that, because once you get that fitted, girl, you cannot go back from that. Like it is, it, what's done is done. So they always say you gotta make sure you're not like losing weight or gaining weight within that time period. Um, oh, there's so much to think about. I need to make another appointment with my florist because we wanna make some changes. Add some things, take some things away. Um, what we did for Bella too, we decided to do a flower crown for her made out of like real flowers of ones that we're using, like the, you know, the bouquets. It's gonna look a little similar, probably some greenery with some white. Um, for a flower crown and then I did say to do a small bouquet But now that I think about it, I ordered which I'll show you guys when it comes in But I ordered a little like rustic um, Kind of basket thing off Etsy for her to carry her like petals in and I'm like if she's gonna be carrying that in the flower crown Like there's no reason for her to have a small bouquet. So we're gonna take that away. We're gonna add a few more centerpieces and things for the ceremony um, and I just wanted to adjust a few things that we had in mind. So I do need to make another appointment. I emailed them about that. Um, we need to figure that out. We need to make an appointment with our DJ. We have so much to do. We need to come up with our whole um, music list. I actually put a lot of music together already, like on our Spotify, we made a playlist, but we kind of just need to like go through it and make sure we like everything. Um, we're the type of people where 
we want our DJ to play what we want and we're not about like that, oh, you could just play whatever, like play what's in today. Like, no, we wanna play what we wanna hear. We wanna play music that everyone will enjoy. So we are very picky with that. Um, you know, that's like the whole night. That's what people are looking forward to is the party of the wedding. So, I mean, of course they wanna see the ceremony, but you know what I mean? Like that's the whole night. That is what you remember is the reception so there's so much to do i am so busy and again this is a lot of the stuff that you don't see in the vlogs so you know when it looks like i am just sitting around doing nothing it's it's not like that like i am on my website constantly i'm booking weddings i am you know doing freelancing i might be doing hair at home some days like it's it's a lot more behind the scenes that you guys don't see so i just wanted to kind of update you Oh, so tomorrow, my sister's going away to college, which is so sad, but also really exciting for her. So I might end up going over to see her tonight or tomorrow. I'm not really sure because I don't want to cut it close tomorrow and not be able to say bye to her because we do have to leave to go try on dresses tomorrow. I think we have an appointment at like 11 and then at 12. And I don't know what time they're going to be leaving tomorrow to head to New York. Um, what are you doing? Don't be eating that. He ripped open a little ball and he's like eating the inside of it. Um, I think I updated you guys on, on Gray. He's doing good. He just has this stuffy nose that just won't go away. His coughing is kind of like subsided. It's just here and there when I feel like he has a little bit of like mucus, like, like a post nasal drip, but he's seeing a specialist in a few days. So hopefully that will be better, but I'm gonna go through this packet I'm gonna make myself some avocado toast in a bit because I'm waiting for these avocados to go ripe. I've been like craving avocado toast and I will make that in just a bit.